In case you didn't know, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom's coming out soon, right? Coming out real soon. I heard about this. Fans are hungry for Link's meat arrows in Tears of the Kingdom. Admit it, you wish you could have defeat Ganon with a meat sword. Tuesday, Nintendo showcased a 10-minute look at the hotly anticipated sequel to Breath of the Wild. While most fans went wild over the new handyman crafting abilities, Link Sports and Tears of the Kingdom, a subset of fans have been salivating at the opportunity to pummel both minor enemies and bosses alike with Link's meat arrows and meat sword. This sounds so bad. And that's not a euphemism. Let the meat arrows fly. Basically, Link's new weapon crafting power works kind of like the DC comic book hero Bawana Beast's animal fusing ability, but with objects. In that, Link can combine the attributes to, of two disparate things to make a new thing with improved qualities. Shout out to the two hand diehard Bawana Beast fans out there. For example, producer E.G. Anuma glorified let's play saw him combine two fans and a raft to craft a diy speedboat but the thing that caught everyone's attention was the fact that a slab of meat in link's inventory could be jerry rigged into a weapon as well leading the term meat arrow to trend on twitter yes it was legit it was legit meat arrow if I search up meat arrow, it's right there, right there, right there. Like it is a thing. People were saying like it was put on Twitter and people were saying meat arrow, not a bad, not a bad thing. You know what I mean? Sadly, Anuma left the, this possibility unexplored in the gameplay breakdown. Perhaps our puny human minds aren't ready to comprehend the ramifications of such a fusion. First thing I, so this here, I can't wait to make this weapon in game. But Somebody posted this. Samurai warrior, wielding a shape-shifting master of darkness, wielding a magic sword, wielding a foolish samurai warrior, wielding a magic sword, wielding an unspeakable evil, wielding a foolish shape-shifting coconut, wielding a shape-shifting master of darkness, wielding a foolish samurai warrior. What the fuck is this? An unspeakable coconut wielding a magic sword, wielding a shape shifting sword, wielding an, an evil sword, wielding a sword, wielding a an unspeakable evil, wielding a food, wielding a foolish samurai warrior, wielding this is fucking. Master what the hell is this? Wielding a magic sword, wielding a foolish samurai warrior, wielding a magic sword, stepped forth to oppose me. What the hell? First thing I will do in Tears of the Kingdom is put meat on an arrow. I must know what the meat arrow does. I swear on the life of everyone that I know, one Twitter user wrote. Nintendo shows us what the meat arrow can do, you cowards. I can't wait to beat the final boss of Tears of the Kingdom with my raw meat arrow. <laughs> People are taking this a little bit like fucking insane. <laughs> Imagine meat boomerangs, meat hang gliders, meat hammers, and meat tornadoes. The smorgasbord of meat weapon possibilities can be endless, but carnivorous huntsmen be warmed, warned Link's meat weapons as, the mo as with most weapons in TOTK, I had to think about that. Well, break should you push them past their breaking point, you know, just like in real life. If your personal meat weapon has degraded in real life, please consult your doctor. Gotta love that little bit that they put in there. What are the other possibilities for snuffing out the lives of Link's adversaries at the hand of the Schmeat weapons? Rouses your interest in playing Breath of the Wild sequel or not? Tears of the Kingdom is slated to release on May 12th. Not too far away couple months from now so that's gonna be an interesting take what do you guys think of that like it is uh it is a take for sure here's a link if you guys want to see it's from kotaku but yeah so meat arrows anybody who plays breath of the wild 
or plays Zelda games. I know Sword Bear is going to be a fucking. Uh, he's been playing a lot of Zelda recently. He's been going through the whole Zelda list to try to get it all finished before this game, before this game releases. And I forget what uh, what spot he's on. But yeah, like I know he's pretty excited. I know he's ecstatic about this game and I can't wait to see what he says. Like, I think his take on the whole game is going to be interesting for sure. If that makes sense, you know what I mean? It's going gonna, it's gonna to be an interesting, interesting time. Bring it down.